Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on who are you meant to be with in a romantic a lover partnership. I will give you this person's appearance, their zodiac placements, as well as other personality and characteristic traits. I will share with you everything that Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on who you are meant to be with romantically in a lover relationship, a partnership. I will channel this person's looks, their personality, characteristic traits, whatever spirit gives to me, I will give to you and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the card representing the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Wheel of Fortune being your first card and point of attraction, let me just point out what I am picking up from your vibration in a, a partnership um, frequency with someone else is that this person that you are definitely meant to be with in this lifetime as part of your purpose is someone that um, is going to bring good fortune into your life, okay? This is someone that um, definitely takes take risk. You know, they take chances. This person is very creative as well. I can also see here that um, this person that you're meant to be with is you're going to be with this person at a time when you least expect it. This is when you're going to connect with them at a time when you feel like things are just, you know, pretty regular and just really cool on the home front. And then just all of a sudden, um, there's going to be a change, a turning in luck for you when it comes to this relationship connection. But let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Who are you meant to be with in a romantic lover partnership? And you have here the saboteur. So with the saboteur energy, let me point out that this is about you know, uh, highlighting your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. So with the saboteur energy, Spirit just gave us the insight that this person is a risk taker. This is someone that does not mind gambling. And I don't mean gambling in a sense of like a casino or anything like that. I mean like gambling when it comes to like um, their goals, um, doing things that are extraordinary that other people may say, oh my goodness, why would you even take that chance on doing that? This is this type of person. This person definitely um, embraces fear. They really feel like a fear is something that helps them to evolve in their life. It helps them to make um, amazing changes. So um, they feel like also that on the other side of fear is, you know, empowerment. So this person does speak in this sort of language here. They are not afraid of anything. I can tell you that. And I do love the correlation between the saboteur energy and the will of fortune coming out in regards to the risk taking uh, personality that this person does have. But let's get more specifics. 
Who are you meant to be with in a romantic lover partnership? And you have here the king of disc. Of course, this is a king because he has a lot of courage. Okay. And this is also representing um, his physical attributes as well. His looks. Let me also point out that the disc energy, it's also known as the pentacles or the coin. It represents those earth zodiac signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Seen in your person, sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus, as a confirmation here in this reading, um, these earth zodiac placements could be in your, your top placements in your birth chart as well. But specifically here with the king of disc energy, uh, let me just say that this person you're meant to be with, see, um, this person is solid. Um, they are practical. This person is a leader and a very wise investor when it comes to his coin, okay? When it comes to his financial investments, um, he thinks really in terms of um, long-term security as well when it comes to his finances. This is not someone that you're going to find, like I said, gambling in a casino or even like, you know, just throwing his money around anywhere. This is a detailed thinker. I am picking up also that this person could actually be in the financial industry. He could work as a banker, a financial investor, also in real estate is what I'm picking up here. But nevertheless, this is someone that is very wealthy and does keep his mind on his money, if you know what I mean. So let's get more specifics. Who are you meant to be with in a romantic Lover partnership. And look at this. You have Jupiter, the planet of luck, the planet of expansion, growth. Jupiter here is about abundance. It's about um, positivity as well. And Jupiter rules over the sign of Sagittarius. So definitely Sagittarius is in your person's top verse placements of their birth chart or in your birth chart as a confirmation here in this week. Let me point out, this person is very enthusiastic, okay, loves to travel and it makes perfect sense. I do love the confirmation that Spirit just gave us about your person having a rich mindset where his mind is always on his you know, his um, his prosperity, his abundance. He's in alignment with source energy and knowing that he is meant to be wealthy. It is his birthright from the creator of this universe. This is something you guys have in common with as well. So he's very positive. He also could be a teacher and he also could be from a foreign country or a foreign culture other than the culture that you're from because of the planet Jupiter here. And this is someone also about growth, expansion, moving forward. This person is very lucky. I love that Jupiter did show up the planet of luck, of positivity, um, and generosity because the will of fortune, it represents luck. So this is another confirmation here in your reading. I wanted to say two, but actually there are four cards here and they are all in confirmation and correlation with each other. Thank you, Spirit. I am so loving this for you. Let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with in a romantic lover partnership? And you have here the high priestess. Yes. So with the high priestess energy, this energy is about secrets. It's about secrets. It's about mystery as well. So this person is very mysterious. Um, although... Um, I don't, I don't see this person being a public figure. I do see this person maybe managing um, the wealth for rich, for the rich people, managing a wealth. Um, I do feel like he's in the banking industry. So this is, this is someone that not everyone knows about. 
I feel like he's a private person as well, although he's very conscious about, you know, investments. He is the king of pentacles here, and he's very solid. He's very practical. He's also down to earth and very loyal and grounded type person. So he's very low key as well. I am picking up too that this person, as far as his physical appearance, he is around like anywhere between the height of 5'10 and 6'1. So he's fairly tall. He's considered tall to a lot of people because he's very slim. He does take care of his body and he works out every day. It's not the typical like bodybuilder, but he does a, a, um, a regimen every day where he works out and he, he makes sure that he does take care of himself. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. I do also want to point out before I continue is that with the high priestess energy showing up here is that you're going to know this person by way of your intuition. It's going to be so strong when you meet this person. And this is not the typical butterfly in the stomach connection, that feeling that you're going to have. This is a connection where you're going to feel as if you've been knowing this person all of your life. It's going to feel very relaxed and very chill. So let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles. This guy's definitely into the financial sector when it comes to his career. The Ace of Pentacles is, again, about finances. It's about money. It is physical here. And he definitely has very strong earth placements when it comes to his zodiac placements, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And these placements could be very prominent in your birth chart as well as a confirmation here in this reading. It's a, And let me just point out, the Ace of Pentacles is about investments. And Spirit did give us that insight seconds earlier about him being an investment banker, investing money for the super rich. Um, and so I am just really loving this confirmation showing up here. Thank you, Spirit. I do feel like as well, too, that he's someone that does give jobs to other people and he also ra um, give raises and promotions. So I feel like he is the owner of his wealth management company. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Who are you meant to be with romantically a, in a lover partnership relationship? Who is it, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the crone. Look at the crone. This is someone that saves other people from like a financial disaster. You know, helping to clean up, you know, what other people consider messes and mistakes. I am just so over the moon with the correlation of your reading here. Um, the way the crone here, the way um, the hand is holding the crone and saving the crone from impending doom. This is your person. He comes in. He looks at this person's financial status and life. He offers the, 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 not only, I, let me tell you this. This is what I'm really picking up. This person has a heart. So he's definitely into finances. He's grounded. He's focused. He is a go-getter, but he has a heart. This person is very well emotionally invested in his clients as well, meaning that he wants the best. And he is very well sought after in the financial industry. So this is someone that people do rely on and they feel like that they can count on and go to when it comes to saving their asses and their assets. <laughs> so this is just a really nice reading here of cards that do correspond with each other. And I am so thankful, Spirit, that you did show up in this way with this confirmation. Thank you. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. 
Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on who you are meant to be with. In a romantic lover partnership, I will channel this person's appearance, their characteristic and personality traits, as well as as well as their career and their zodiac placements. I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the car representing the moon. And with the moon being the first point of your attraction, let me just tell you this. This person is definitely someone that is definitely um, in touch with his feelings. The moon, it rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is top and prominent in the top placements of his birth chart. In his sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus, or the zodiac sign cancer could be in your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. Also, uh, with the moon card showing up, as far as his characteristics and personality, um, um, things going on with him. Let me point out, he's very sensitive, okay? And he's very mysterious. I do feel, get a hermit vibe, this type of energy where he just enjoys being alone and going into solitude. But at the same time, he's very imaginative, very creative, this person is. And again, very emotionally grounded and stable. I feel like he does have a high EQ. That is a emotional quota where he can control his emotions, although he is a deep thinker and a deep feeler. But let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with romantically in a lover partnership? The seeker. With the seeker energy, this is about someone that has a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So seeker, this is Sagittarius energy as well because Sagittarius is the seeker. So of course, Sagittarius in the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention moments earlier. I do want to point out that this person, again, is very passionate, okay? And very enthusiastic, optimistic person, although could be a bit temperamental due to that Sagittarius fire energy here, but at the same time, spontaneous, which makes perfect sense because with the moon card coming out here, this is someone that represents a passion for the things that they do. He's very creative as well in his um, goals, things that he does like to pursue. Um, he has a high um, visualization um, a sense where he plans, he strategically plans things. He can see what he wants and then he will go get it. So this is a go-getter here. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Who are you meant to be with in a romantic or lover partnership? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Look at this. Mercury, the planet of communication. I do want to point out that Mercury, it rules over that sign of Gemini and Virgo. So again, this guy has great communication skills and he is highly intelligent, okay? But let me do point out that because Mercury here showed up and it rules over uh, Gemini and Virgo, of course, those are part of the top placements in his birth chart. The sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. But let me point out, he's very good with words, his thoughts. Spirit gave us that insight seconds earlier of how he has a strategic thought planner, um, idealistic mind. And I am so grateful for this confirmation showing up. Thank you, Spirit. So I feel like he's into like analytics 
something where he analyzes information as a day to day. He could be into reports and trading as well, and also um, writing. So he has the gift to, again, visualize things that he wants to take place, and he has the talent to write them down as well. He's very curious, this person is, and um, I feel like he does have the ability to speak. So he could definitely be in the public's eye because he is, there is a very strong Mercury communication um, energy from him. So with Gemini, you know that Gemini is a, a very, very social, very observant here, very creative and adventurous. So I'm picking up that he definitely is in the public eye. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Who are you meant to be with in a romantic or lover partnership? And you have here the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, let me point out that the Ten of Wands energy represents that fire sign energy. So we did see Sagittarius here first. So I love this correlation coming out with the Ten of Wands. And then along with Sagittarius is Leo and Aries. But specifically here, this Ten of Wands energy is clearly pointing out that this person here does have a lot on his plate. He's someone that does a lot. This is not the type of person that has one career. He probably has three careers going on, you know, and that makes perfect sense with the Gemini energy. So like, for example, he could definitely be a public speaker, also a athlete as well as a writer. So this is someone that has multiple careers. And so he has a lot on his plate. Um, he, he does get exhausted a lot, but he's able to recuperate, um, very easily. I am picking up also that he is definitely someone that is in shape. And with the running, with the Sagittarius energy here, with Sagittarius, he is definitely someone that is into working out, specifically running or jogging. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Who are you meant to be with romantically? A lover's partnership. And you have here the Knight of Coins. And with the Knight of Coins energy, you got Earth sign energy. And of course, Earth sign energy is Virgo, which is seen here a ruled by the planet Mercury. So that's a nice correlation. Knight of Coins, physical physical. This guy is really into doing things with his hands, okay? Let me point out, he is a very reliable person and patient, as we did pick up earlier with the hermit energy, loving solitude when he's not busy. He's a very patient person and very hard working as well. And Spirit just gave us that inside seconds earlier when with the Ten of Wands energy, um, and Spirit did address that. He has a lot on his plate because he is juggling multiple careers, but this is how he thrives. This is what makes him happy um, to be able to do the most, and that's what he's known for, someone that will seek and go and get. He is a go-getter. I am picking up an alpha male here, someone that is meant to, you know, take care of you, the divine feminine. He is seeking his divine feminine, not in an action-oriented way, but in a vibrational way where he knows who he is and he is definitely um, aware of the woman that he is meant to be with as well. Someone that's very strong, self-confident, um, self-assured, has lots of self, you know, love. He is that alpha male and he's aligned with that energy. And so that is the energy that he does recognize in his divine feminine energy, such as yourself. So let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with? Who are you meant to be with? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here, Page of Swords. Of course, I love the Page of Swords coming out because we do have Mercury here ruling over that air sign of Gemini. And this Page of Swords energy is Gemini energy. Aquarius and Libra seen here in the Swords energy. And with the Page of Swords specifically here, active, 
It is so interesting how this entire spread of tarot cards specifically for you, your person is very active. The page of swords, active. Curiosity, the seeker. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. So this person is someone that's always working on a new project or he does have like, you know, a new ideas. He's very curious. He is a very curious person. And with the Mercury um, energy, you know, sometimes he's quite gossipy. He can gossip and he loves to seek out information. Very analytical as seen here with the Mercury energy that was mentioned earlier. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with? Who are you meant to be with? Look at this. The shadow. Hermit energy. Solitude. Going within for um, spiritual illumination. Wanting to be alone. Liking to be quiet. But it makes perfect sense. Because that is why he has a very strong EQ. A very balanced emotional quota. He, he's very healthy mentally because he understands the balance of the hermit energy, you know? Um, this is someone that is always on a quest for personal truth. You know, he cares about how he feels and how he expresses his life because he knows that if he fulfills his dreams, his goals, that is the ultimate of happiness, inner peace, joy, wealth and abundance. He know that if he's a very fulfilled being, then he will naturally be a great companion for his divine feminine companion and um, a lover. And he will just be a happy person in general because he's doing exactly what it is that he wants to do. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on who you are meant to be in a romantic lover partnership. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you to the card representing the sun. And with the sun, this is about success. This is about someone that is always on the quest for being a greater version of themselves. The sun card represents material happiness. You're meant to be with someone that does resonate with abundance and prosperity. And this is going to be a joyous relationship and outcome for you as well. Let me also point out that the sun does rule over the zodiac sign of Leo. So Leo could definitely be in the top placements of your birth chart or this person's birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And that Leo energy definitely could be seen in the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. But let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Who are you meant to be with? Vampire. So with the vampire energy, this person makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life's force. So with that, this is someone that is very educational. I feel like this is someone that teaches. This is someone that teaches others to be conscious of who they allow in their space, who they allow in their lives. So this person could be a very well-respected leader, a teacher, an author of a 
um, top selling a book or books, a life coach, a someone that is in the public eye to help guide others um, to, to not be taken advantage of or manipulated. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Who are you meant to be with? And you have here the three of discs. So with the three of discs, also known as the three of coins or the three of pentacles, this disc energy is earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And those top placements that I did mention earlier in your person's birth chart or your birth chart, the three of disc energy is about someone that does have a nice um, a circle of loyal friends. This is someone that really puts um, a friendships and celebrations at the forefront of their life. And they just don't let anyone in their circle. They have a very tight knit, a small circle of support when it comes to their friends. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Who are you meant to be with? Who are you meant to be with? Aquarius, the innovator. So with Aquarius showing up, this is definitely that air sign energy, social energy. Spirit gave us that inside moments earlier that yes, this person is in the public side. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. This person is in the in the public's eye. They are very social, very observant, okay, and very creative and adventurous, as seen here with this Aquarius energy. I am definitely so excited to see that the Aquarius card did lay naturally under the three of zit, of disc, representing that friendship, that group of that circle of friends, because the Aquarius energy is about um, friendships. It's also about um, being social and a group oriented detail, working with a group of people, futuristic ideas, disrupting what people call norms and normal things. It's also about free thinking. So this is a wonderful correlation with the energy that spirit is just giving us here. I can definitely see many confirmations so far for you. So let's get more insight. Who are you meant to be with? Thank you, Spirit. In a romantic lover partnership. Queen of Coins. So with the Queen of Coins, more mm -hmm. earth energy. Let me point out that this person is definitely someone that is physically attractive. And because this earth energy, the coin energy represents the physicality and the earth. And so again, those earth signs are highlighted here in the coin energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But we're both specifically here with the queen of coins energy. This is someone that is very resourceful with their money. Okay. Very fertile when it comes to growing their money as well and utilizing their money in the way that it should be utilized. I feel like as well, this person is going to want to spend a lot of money on you, shower you with gifts, just spoil you rotten, take you on trips, lots of physical things this person wants to do and show you because this is one way that they show their appreciation for you, their love and their affection. They're very physical, touchy, touchy, wanting to hold you, wanting to kiss you. And they want you to know that you are adored, not by just, you know, their works and how they will provide for you, how successful they are. And they can show you that they can be, but they want to show you that they love you in a physical way as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Who are you meant to be with? Who are you meant to be? And these cards just jumped out. You know what? This is not the deck that I do want to pull from. So let's get another deck. Who are you meant to be with? Look at this. The Four of Pentacles coming out back to back after the Queen of Coins. Let me just point out that the Queen of Coins is the same thing as Pentacle. Coin, when you see coin, disc, or pentacle. It is the same. It is earth energy. And with the four of pentacles, I love this coming out back to back because that's really considered like a sync 
synchronicity because you have three earth um, cards here. You have the three of disc, you have the queen of coins, and you have the four of pentacles. So this is a synchronicity because you are group three. So that synchronicity is three, three, three for you. So at the end of this reading, you are encouraged. Your spirit guides are wanting you to look up the number three, three, three and pick the video message that calmly draws you the most because that is an extra message for you here today. But specifically here with the four of a pentacles energy, this is someone that really does Think about and plan for long-term security here. Again, I am picking up that um, this person does work with other people. I feel like they do when they do um, the books that they do write, the life coaching, the teaching. They teach others about finances. They also teach others about um, raising their standards and their values. They offer so many benefits to others that they are really seen as a leader in their community and with the people that do follow them. This person is very successful and sought after as well. Um, let's get more insight. This is very intriguing. Who are you meant to be with? Thank you, Spirit. Who are you meant to be with? The empty room. So with the empty room... Let me point out here, what I'm picking up here with the empty room is that, yes, this is a speaker here. And this is someone that does talk to and support, guide, coach, heal people that have been hurt, who have felt like they have nothing else left. And this person is... Their goal and their purpose, their mission on life is to help fulfill others, to give others the gift of recognizing their um, divine nature. And so I love this energy showing up with the empty room. And what's so incredible is that, yes, I feel like this person does speak um, in large stadiums where, yes, you'll be traveling with this person as well because this is like someone where you'll go, you'll go to a new city, you'll go to a stadium, and it hosts like 20,000 people, and you're like, bae, I can't believe you're literally speaking in here tonight, and so it's going to be empty, but then that room is going to be filled with many of people that admire and that get so much value from the person that you are meant to be with. Also, physical wise, very, very attractive person. This person is of medium build, um, anywhere from the height of 5'11 to 6'2. So very, you know, considered very tall. Um, very, very attractive. I do, I am picking up that they have a darker, like, complex, complexion, anywhere from like an olive to like a darker skin complexion. Very handsome. But what's so interesting about this person is they are, I'm picking up definitely a masculine energy. Very handsome, but very humble. I don't even think this person recognize their physical appearance in that way. Yes, they do know that they're attractive based on the compliments that they've received from other people, but they do not care. They are on a mission here to innovate, to change the way systems are ran, and to really just disrupt a, a ideal that has been going on so long. Very liberal person, very electric in nature. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm your heart warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.